the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Niners and the Rams coming up next. It was only open in 2020, but quickly became one of the league's most recognizable venues. You're looking at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California. Hi again, everybody. Brock Heward and Kate Scott with you up in the booth. And Brock, we have a very intriguing matchup of quarterbacks ahead in this contest today. This is going to be so good, so entertaining because these QBs are so talented, both of them. They don't need any more of an incentive than this because after the game, you know they love to meet up in midfield, right? Well, one of them is going to be making that hard, begrudging handshake with the cameras on the other. He's going to wear a big smile because he knows what it takes to beat the QB on the other side. Ball is teed up. Joshua Cardi to do the honors. And here we go from L.A. Starting from the five. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. So here come the 49ers for their opening drive. And bringing them out. You cannot call him irrelevant ever again. Took his team to the Super Bowl last year. It's Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy proved that his rookie year was no fluke. 31 touchdowns will do that. But what I loved was the efficiency, the rating, and not just me, it's what Kyle Shanahan and just listen to those 49ers teammates talk about Brock Purdy. Sure, he threw for almost 4,300 yards, but just at every turn on every stage, this guy delivers. In fact, he became the only the eighth quarterback to take a team to a Super Bowl in their second season in the history of this league. Can't wait to watch Brock Purdy continue to take more and more steps with this invaluable experience he's gained as a young player. Two on the pickup there, and it's going to be second and eight. Hey, we know running the ball in the NFL is hard, and that play pretty indicative of it. Here's the key, though. At the end of the game, those type of plays got to be in the minority, and the majority have got to do some damage. Second and eight. Mason there to haul it in. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. Good luck defending that short yardage slant. Just not going to happen. There's a reason. This is a go-to play for just about any quarterback in every situation. Third down, one yard to go. They'll motion a tight end left. Looking to throw on third and one. He lets a heater go deep, middle of the field. It's tipped away and it's going to hit the ground incomplete. Defender winning that rep. That brings up fourth down. Gonna have to wait a little longer for his first catch of the game. And it's fourth and short. We'll see if they go for it. The 49ers are lined up in punt formation. And he'll punt it away to end a disappointing opening drive. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. So here come the Rams on offense, ready for their opening drive. And they're brought out by the 16-year pro, rebounded from an injury last season, Matthew Stafford. Stafford just continues to fight off injuries, and he continues to battle father time. And it is remarkable. There's a lot of quarterbacks as we see him age. We see the arm fall apart. We see the wear and the tear and the velocity disappear. You're just not seeing that with Stafford. You can question how long the journey may continue, but you cannot question how productive he is when he's on that field. On first down, here's Stafford. Here's one left side. He's got it. Complete pass. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. How about a big hit of 34 yards there and a new set of downs. Now, right there, that's what you want to see on your opening drive. Boom! Connect on a big shot, and instantly you set a tone that you're not going to be afraid to be aggressive in this game today. Boy, do I love that. Following that last play, want to keep that pedal down. First and 10 from the 45. The first carry now for Kyron Williams. And he pushes forward, but they don't get much there. 
three yards on the first down play, and that brings up second and seven. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal gain, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. Off the play fake, it's Stafford. That's to the sideline. It's a catch by Williams. And he'll cover up as they touch him down a few yards short of the first. That's a defense's goal, right, Kate? Just get us to third down so we can have a chance to get off the field. And that was a good adjustment on that stop in particular when the back ended up being the target and they were able to keep him short of the sticks. Stafford now on third down. He has the first over the middle. And he's stopped at the 31-yard line. That one gains seven. And it brings up an L.A. first down. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. From the gun, a carry by Williams. And they bring him down at the 18-yard line. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. A split second, all that kept the defense from making a stand right there. It's amazing, man. This game of inches and split-second reactions. A nice bit of burst surge forward for enough to go get that first by a couple before they could finally drag him down. Working inside the red zone. And it's caught. And he will score. Touchdown, Los Angeles. The Rams start the game off right with a 6-0 lead. It's a Puka Nakua touchdown. He finds one of his great receivers, Brock, and they are off to a great start to begin this ball game. Yeah, it's such a positive offensively when he can go find not just a field goal, but a touchdown on that opening drive. And defensively, Ooh, this starts to shake the foundation of your preparation and makes you wonder what's in store. On comes Joshua Cardi to try the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. to the touchdown. Cardi all set up to send this away. Has this at the six. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. San Francisco headed out for its second possession of the game. They didn't start the game off like they wanted, Brock. Still searching for that opening first down as they take the field a second time. We'll start out with a first and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Purdy. That's incomplete left side. Well covered on that play. Really not a large window for him to sneak that throw in. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Shotgun snap for Purdy. No better luck than the last play, Brock, as he just has to get rid of it. Boy, offenses that connect in this intermediate zone are so effective. Getting the completion in that area, and not just sparks your offense, but it just turns that aggressive meter way up. They just couldn't quite find the connection. No connection on the last play, and out third down.
And the gun is Purdy. And even on third down, he sees no choice other than to get rid of it. Not the play they wanted. It's going to be fourth down. Everybody wants to play quarterback until a play like that. Almost no resistance off the ball and the defense ready to maul you. It was all he could do to get rid of it before he gets just clocked. Mitch Wisnowski on the punt. Fair catch made here at the 30. We don't get a return out of that punt. And the Rams will take possession. The Rams headed back after their second drive now. And so far, they've executed exactly how they drew it up, Rock. Early lead, no points allowed, and a chance now to seize control of the game on their second possession. And, Kate, generally, offenses love to script their first 10 to 15 plays. Well, this entire game script is playing out just the way they want to. Throw reeled in by Higby. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. When you see play action, do all you can to get your eyes to the tight end because that's their bread and butter. That play action gives him time off the line, helps chip a rusher, or even helps sell that fake. And then when he releases, he gets out, he gets some leverage, he gets to that edge before the defender can cover him. They take the handoff now, Stafford. Throw complete to Williams. Pick up a few as he heads out of bounds. It is so hard for these defenses. I don't envy them at all to try to monitor where these running backs are. Are they chipping? Are they delaying their route? He's such an underrated part of their overall passing game. Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. Running for the marker with Williams. And his short game gets the Manu set it down. Okay, you know me, I can't resist. I thought we might have needed the old Gene Sterator index card down there. <laughs> Making a really close measurement to see if he got the first down or not. But in the end, well, the right call was made. He got just enough to move the chains. Throwing now on first down. Stafford complete. It's Atwell. And he'll be taken down, but not until he reaches that 45-yard line. It's a pickup of 14 yards as the chains reset. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Shotgun snap to Sanford. Row right side, and that one's hauled in. And he's brought down after pushing to that 35-yard line. You'll often hear it said, in my life experience, it's true, the NFL is a game of matchups, so much more than any level. And these tight ends, we see it time and again, are such a matchup nightmare down the field. Takes the handoff, now to throw. That one is caught side of the field it goes as a gain of 19 yards and the Rams are gonna have a first down it was such a privilege for me to watch Marvin Harrison and Reggie Wayne in person in Indianapolis do their work Daryl Jackson out in Seattle they showed how great a deep out is is a chain moving play it's all about getting that leverage at the top of the route and then exploiting the leverage as that ball arrives on time downfield hits his man on the out route and they make the stop as that play reaches the 14-yard line. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Second down now, seven to go. Now Stafford again. Rifles it, and it's caught. And he's able to get this down to the 13. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. Throwing his Stafford on third. This one's caught. And he has it down to the eight-yard line on the play. 
You can earn your money in the NFL in all sorts of different ways, but defensively, in a league where you're just not hitting as much in training camp, you're not tackling as much as they got to in the old days, when you can make a play in the open field, keep them short like that, I promise you some money will follow. Going forward, it's Williams. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. And that run won't come close. We've got a turnover on downs. Well, a blitz on fourth down to gutsy call, but it can work against a pass or a run. Good luck running for the sticks when you got a whole defense crashing you right off the snap. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Hand out to the back. And he won't get anything there. Several defenders nearby to hold him up. A quarter down. Three more to go for these NFC West opponents. Neither side separating much so far. We'll return to Inglewood in just a moment. We're back, and it's 49ers football as we resume. They still have 10 to go here. It's second down. Back to throw. Here's Purdy. It's taken in by Yuschek. I remember talking to Jim Harbaugh one time, and Bo Schimbeckler asked him when he was a head coach, do you have a tight end with his hand on the ground? Yes, coach. Do you have a fullback still on your roster? Yes, coach. Then you're going to be just fine. Third and six for them to figure out now. Purdy setting up that play action. That's caught for the first. He picks up 15 on the play. And it brings up a San Francisco first down. Kid, I can't tell you how good that is. Anticipating the outcut, having the ball on the way before the receiver's head even turns. He puts it on him so that receiver can easily get out of bounds for the nice game. Purdy on first down. To the left sideline, complete. And he does quite a bit of damage before they finally take him down. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position. By hitting on that shot, you've totally flipped the field and the tone of this drive. So the big play has him well into enemy territory and field goal range. They're inside the 30. Pretty throwing here on first. That's caught at the four. And they're going to take this in for the San Francisco touchdown. The 49ers start to fight back with their first points of this game. It's a Brandon Ayuk touchdown. I think we actually saw him call it early there, Brock. He made that throw, and then he signaled it was going to be a touchdown, like a guy calling it before his three-pointer goes through the net. Oh, you mean like Larry Legend Bird Ooh. in the three-point shooting contest in the 80s? Well, maybe I like know, a Tyrese you... Maxey, you know, but whatever. Well, I, the kids aren't alive. I get it. And they weren't <laughs> alive in the 80s. They didn't see Larry Legend do it, but he did, and he anticipated just like the quarterback. That one right down the middle. And we're all knotted up. to kick it away. Here's Moody. 2-2 Atwell. Now to return it. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, 
My guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. You got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call. 1-844-MADDEN-1 and make your case for who should get a boost. Drive begins with a run. It's Williams. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. Halfway there on first down. That brings up second and five. A humble five to six yard gain on the ground. Not a huge gain. Not a game changing play by any means. But one that keeps you on schedule and takes some of the starch out of that front seven. Off the play fake, it's Stafford. He'll get this to come. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stopped. I'll tell you this, you don't want to make a living throwing into double coverage, but double coverage and still finding a way to beat the defense and haul it in. That's not a situation many players win, and there aren't a lot of quarterbacks willing to make that throw and trust their receiver to get it done. Stafford now on third down. Got Williams, and it's complete. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. It's a pickup of nine yards. And it brings up an L.A. first down. This dude's just simply got a nose for the marker no matter how they get him the ball, Kate. Hand it to him, and he sniffs out that first down. Get it to him on a screen, and it's no different. He surges ahead and keeps this drive moving. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Stafford from the gun. He gets this one to Nakua. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. Now following that completion, we see a man shaken up. Officials calling for a pause as he gets looked at. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Stafford back to throw. It's taken in by Williams. And they'll get him down after he gets into the 48. As an offense, you don't call a screen, Kate, expecting to gain just a few yards. You call it, expecting to break off something big and substantial. But it's up to that defense to stay ahead of it to keep it contained to something much smaller. Case in point right there. Looking to throw on third and one. He has the first over the middle. And they finally bring him down. But that is a big gain and a new set of downs. That goes as a gain of 25 yards and picks up the first. This entire play, Kate, depends on how well he can separate from his man. You get man-to-man -man coverage, it's really about two things, separation and trust. Because QBs want to throw it before he breaks, that's the trust, and then they got to believe that that separation can create the big play down the field. And they've got themselves another first and ten. They pick the handoff now, Stafford. Throw caught at the six! And they'll advance this down to the five-yard line. They'll have first and goal to go now after they gain 18 on the previous play. You know I love those chunk completions. They're so critical. Those chunk plays, they lead statistically so often to scoring. And then when you get it to a tight end and play action, it's just a little icing on the cake. From the red zone now. And he will score. Touchdown, Los Angeles. The Rams take a second quarter lead. It's a Puka Nakua touchdown! His second scoring catch of the game. He hung in there as long as he could. A lot of quarterbacks would have bailed out. And it was, it was what you talk about, Brock, that courage that kept the chant for the touchdown a lot. Yeah, that touchdown's going to show up on his stat sheet making the catch or the quarterback stat sheet for making the throw. But, hey, can we put some touchdowns up there for the big boys up front? It was their blocking and buying of time for that play that led to the score. Cardi now for the PAT. 
one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. to the touchdown. Cardi all set up to send this away. Return coming from the six. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The 49ers and Brandon Ayuk running onto the field. And unless the coverage adjusts to slow him down, Brock, he's going to be busy and a productive target for them throughout the rest of this contest. They're out and set, first and ten. From the gun is Purdy. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away, and that makes it second down. I think we're starting to get a feel, aren't we, of why they like him so much in coverage. He reacts well to throws, is super adept at breaking up passes through contact, or like that one before they could ever reach the target. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Shotgun snap for Purdy. That one falls to the turf, couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. That drop ruins the payoff to a well-designed play. It got a man open, it beat the coverage. That's a call they can revisit in the future with hopefully a much better job finishing the catch. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. A tight end in motion now. On third down, Purdy. Short pass caught by his tight end. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. Feet and eyes, Kate. Feet and eyes. They so often tell the story of every position on the field. When that quarterback's feet and eyes move to his secondary read, and so often it's a tight end, well, it's incumbent on that defense to fly to the ball. You want to make that tackle force the fourth down? It took a great defensive effort to do it. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. And he calls for the fair catch, and he's got it at the 14-yard line. The Rams and Matthew Stafford set to go back on offense. And we're all hoping his hot start can continue. He has been putting up some numbers early in this contest. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Stafford now against the blitz. That's taken in by Cup. Racing down the left side. And he breaks into enemy territory before being stopped on a huge game. Speed kills, baby. You better make that tackle right away on these receivers or you're going to get some serious yak. Those yards after catch just like that. Take it a short gain and turn it into an explosive play. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Give to Williams from the gun. And he's brought down real close to that goal line at the one. It's a pickup of five, and that brings up second and goal. Fans love the long ball in baseball. It's like they got the home run derby. But you know what? Talk to managers, and they will tell you small ball can win, too. Singles and doubles, you add them up. You could win a lot of baseball games. Football coaches will tell you, you get runs of that length. It may not be a home run. It may not score points, but it can do some work. And he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. The Rams take a 13-point lead. Kyron Williams, the touchdown. So Brock, this offense looking sharp here in the first half as they extend their lead. You know, and when things are going well, sometimes you really just get into a groove. And this is a unit that's putting the pieces together.
Cardi now for the PAT. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. The Rams kicking team is ready. Now they're going to send this one away. Fielded at the seven. Oh, he's shown some burst on his return. And it's a nice return here. They'll tackle him shy of the 35. Here's first and ten from the 34. Working out of the gun, it's Purdy. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. Oh, that drop is such a bummer because it ruins the payoff of such a well-designed play, Kate. Got the man open, beat the coverage, but then you gotta go finish it. You gotta go make that catch, I will say. Keep that one in mind. They could revisit that play in the future. Back to the air on second. Purdy. That finds IU complete. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. They hit a curl route of that length. It takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback and the receiver on the other end finishing it, doing his job. 49ers moving quickly, trying to get their offense to the line. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's across midfield in Rams territory. We get a timeout here taken by the 49ers. That's going to be their first. As they'll meet and decide what to do on this second down. You put in motion left. To throw again, it's Purdy. Oh, he put some heat on this deep. This is caught inside the 15. And they're going to take this in for the San Francisco touchdown. The 49ers make it a one-score game before halftime. It's a Brandon Ayuk touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. Well, great work there, Brock. They weathered the storm, and now they've gotten themselves right back into this ball game. Anybody who's played this game has been here before. The game doesn't start the way you want. You're in a big hole, and all you can do is climb out of it. And the words of Pete Carroll resonate. It's not how you start. It's how you finish. That one splits the uprights. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. And just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. That's going to be taken in at the eight. He's brought down at what looks like the 24-yard line. The Rams ready for their next series, led out on offense by their quarterback. And at the pace he's begun the game throwing the football, Brock, he is in line for a special type of performance if they need to keep throwing it until the end. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Shotgun snap to Sanford. This is hauled in by Atwell. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. 
<laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. First down, ball at the 36. Working from the gun, here's Stafford. And for the first time, one of his throws doesn't find a home. It's incomplete, but boy, what a streak he had to begin this game. Just couldn't hang on through the contact. And now they face second down. Throwing now, Stafford. Cup on the catch. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. Now the Rams will use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. And the 49ers in a nickel set. Third down coming. Now Stafford again. Throw complete to Williams. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. He'll throw it yet again. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. Charvarius Ward picks it off. You know, one of the beauties of the game of football is it never sits still. It's constantly adapting. And that nickel defense right there, critical in taking the ball away. And when you think about nickel defense, you think about Rondé Barber. When the Hall of Fame in the summer of 2023 really revolutionizing the position of the nickelback. That nickel defender and that nickel defense, critical in that takeaway we just saw. This offense headed back to the field, led by their receiver. Not a whole lot of time left for him to put something together here before the break. They'll begin this drive with barely over 25 seconds left. First down throw by Purdy. And he finds the seam down the middle, complete. And he'll be brought down after getting it to the 47-yard line. One play in, and this drive is already in enemy territory. Purdy on first down. Cut by Jennings. And they're going to take this in for the San Francisco touchdown. The 49ers parlay the interception into points. So sensational work by the skill man there, Brock. Anytime you can make your quarterback look that good, you know he appreciates it. <laughs> That's a quarterback's best friend, no question. <laughs> but on the other side, gosh, defensively, you got to get that, that skill player down. Period. Yeah. End of story. You can't give up that much yards after catch. On is Moody for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And we're all tied up. to kick it away. Here's Moody. Return starts from the goal line. 
And the return sets them up just beyond their own 20. This drive starts with barely any time left. 13 seconds in the half. Yep, as expected, they go to the ground to start this one off. And he's brought down for a loss. We've hit halftime, all tied up thanks to that late touchdown. Now we'll go coast to coast. Jonathan Coachman standing by in our Orlando studios for the EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Kate, sit tight. We'll get back to you and Brock in just a moment. But for now, this is our halftime report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. Well, we're set up for an incredible second half, all tied as we kick it away here in quarter number three. This return starts at the five. Now bottling up as he gets the return to the 30. The Rams headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And this is some quality film review right here. Look at this, couple of touchdowns, good amount of yards too. He's been moving them down the field like only he can, putting together quite the game for himself in the process. Well, we got ourselves quite a game today, a tie game coming into this third quarter. And what you're looking for is a little instant jolt of momentum coming out of the locker room. And that return might just be the spark that leads to that momentous fire. First and 10 now from the 30. Here's Williams to start the drive. And he found some running room for a nice game. It's an eight-yard pickup, and they're going to have second and two next. Well, that doesn't net a first down. You get yards like that in the run game, you will take it in the NFL. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Off the play fake, it's Stafford. He'll get this to come. And he's brought down at the line. The defenders, they were ready for that throw, stopping him right at the line of scrimmage. Third and just two to go. Throwing now off play action. To the left and pulled in by Cup. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. You know, they call that the money down for a reason, because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Stafford from the gun. Couldn't bring it in over the middle, incomplete. No luck finding his receiver that time. And now it's second down. I think if you look up in phase in the defensive encyclopedia, that is a picture-perfect form of it. He was all over him in coverage, really forcing the incompletion. Back to the air we go on second. Stafford. To left sideline. Complete. They gain 14 on the play. And the Rams are going to have a first down. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Stafford. That's the rookie from Texas hauling it in. 
And he'll get it down to the 24-yard line. An excellent game. 20 yards there, and that's going to move the sticks. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. Still sticking with the passing game. Short pass caught by his tight end. And they've got him down near the red zone at the 22. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on a throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Back to throw here, Stafford. It's taken in by Williams. And he stopped just before he reaches the red zone at the 21. It's sure nice to have that safety valve. Sure nice to have a running back that not just able to tote it, Kate, but he's able to catch it. That's now multiple times they've looked his way, and multiple times he's delivered. Let's see what they draw up on this third and seven. Stafford now. Got Williams, and it's complete. And they get this down to the 10-yard line before going down. A nice pickup of 11 there, Brock, and they'll have first and goal to figure out. At that down and distance, this group was pretty confident the screen would get them enough yards for the first, and it did. And so long as it keeps working like that, I bet you it'll be a go-to play for them when they need it the next time. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. From the red zone now. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. You know, the goal on a lot of these short throws is to simply let the receiver create some yards after the catch. That yak. Well, I think he was thinking about the yak before he actually secured the catch. So after the incomplete pass, here's second and goal. To throw, Stafford. And the 49ers get there and take him down. Good pressure from the defense there has them trending in the wrong direction. Oh, you hate that. They've eaten up some good yardage on this drive, Kate. And you get down in the red zone, and this is where you really got to stay on schedule. Let's give some credit to this defense. They know the job they got to do. Got to knock you back and make this now red zone attempt that much more difficult. So now here's third and goal. Throwing now from the gun. The shot to the end zone is incomplete. QBs, well, they're a lot like the great shooters in the NBA. Hey, listen, sometimes you're going to miss. You just got to shake it off and keep shooting away. On comes Joshua Cardi and the Rams field goal unit to try it on fourth down. It's from the left hash, 33 yards. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And they've taken back the lead. I never saw a play script that ended with a field goal. It was always a touchdown that you wanted. But that's three points, and it's enough to give them the lead. The Rams kicking team is ready, and they're going to send this one away. Here's a return from the seven. He stopped on the return at the 27. The offense returning to the field now as we get a look at their wideouts. And he finds himself across an important benchmark for yards this season after that last drive. He stayed pretty busy this season, and the numbers show just that. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Pretty gets this from the pistol. Kittle brings it in. It's a gain of 17 on that one. 
And that's a 49er first down. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. Just one play into this drive, and they're already sitting on their own 45. They'll run here on first down. And he's brought down after a short game. Give him a few yards on that run. It's second and seven. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. Second down now, seven to go. From the 48. That's brought in by Jennings. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. It's not just imperative that a quarterback knows man or zone. Same thing for a receiver, especially on a drag route. When he sees zone coverage like that, just settle down, find the soft spot, and give your quarterback a chance. Third and short, here's Purdy. Complete beyond the marker. And he's able to reach the 40 on that play. He gets six on that play. And it brings up a San Francisco first down. Move the chains. Got to move them chains. Build momentum and keep that defense on its heels. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. That throw finds Kittle. They get 13 on the pickup. And that's a 49er first down. You want to start a good debate sometime, Kate? Go in an NFL locker room and ask which position is the best athlete. <laughs> the big guys, the left tackles, will tell you it's them. The corners will tell you it's them. But I'll tell you what, these tight ends of today, the way they can run and break tackles and get in the open field, they truly are some of the best athletes on the team. Pretty throwing here on first. He's got it, room to run. And they get this down to the 10 yard line before going down. It's a great pickup, 16 yards, and now they've got first down. Something out of nothing, Kate, that may as well be listed on his resume because he's so good at it. Caught that one near the line, and after that, it was all him. Turning a modest pass into far more than a modest game. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and 10. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. We call that play to surprise the defense, try to get to the goal line. But a quick adjustment by the defense, well, it kept him in position to make the stop and ruin that play. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Here's the lone back on the handoff. And he'll take this only to about the 11 before going down. They'll get that yard back, but no more. It's third and ten. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs, and gets the better defenses in this league. Tight end in motion left. On third down, Purdy. He's got it! And they're going to take this in for the San Francisco touchdown. The 49ers grab the lead on their first series of the half. The impact this guy has had on this game, Brock, has been massive. They'd be on the comeback trail right now if it wasn't for his two touchdowns. Yeah, and that second one far bigger than his first when you just look at the game circumstances. Puts them in front here in the second half and puts a little jet fuel in the engines of their defense. On his Moody for the extra point. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. to kick it away. Here's Moody. Has this at the six. 
Coverage team gets him down to the 26-yard line. The home teams are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And on that last drive, Brock, he crossed a notable threshold in passing yards for the season. Always nice when you can reach one of those plateaus to look back on after the year is over. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Straight ahead with Williams. And he drives into a pile of defenders and is stopped right at the line. No gain there that time, and it's second and ten. So we're through three here. It's Rams football. They trail late, but this game's still very much in reach. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. Shotgun snap to Stafford. That's too far in front, and it's not going to be caught. Looking for his wide receiver there. So they're left facing third and long. Can't cover it much better than that really well-covered feed on that play. There just simply was not a window for him to sneak that throw in. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Working from the gun, here's Stafford. That's taken in by Cup. And he's out of bounds after pushing just past the 40. 16 yards on the play. And it brings up an L.A. first down. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Up the gut they go with Williams. And the plunge up the gut yields nothing there. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. You know, Kate, over the years, I've heard running backs say, there's just times you got to run in the darkness. And when linebackers fill that hole like that right in the middle of the field, he ran right into the darkness and the pain of that linebacker. Second and ten now. Big catch is made, and he got the feet in, too. He finds him 16 yards and a new set of downs. Okay, when you watch the combine, you'll watch guys try to make this throw. And without chemistry, it's so hard to execute. That was picture perfect. That's a QB and receiver on the same page because that route, that deep out to the field, that takes a, just a different level of connectedness. Williams now on first and ten. And he won't win the race to the outside. That run's bottled up at the line. No progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and ten. I know these DNs love to get to the quarterback. I know that sacks many times equals a bigger payday. But doing the dirty work, playing the run well, that's what the best of the ends do in this league. Stafford back to throw. Big catch made, and he got both feet in. It's a great pickup, 16 yards, and now they've got first down. They've run this 12-yard out route, Kate, at the Combine. Well, all the way back to last century when I had to throw it. In this throw, this is a big boy throw. This is a differentiator. Can you make that deep out throw on time, on rhythm, and accurately? Well, that was teaching tape right there. Stafford now on first down. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Timing is everything in life, and timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Throwing now. Stafford able to find Nakua here. 
And a nice game here, but it's stopped short of the first. The goal of that little drag route is to get him for at least a minimal gain with space to add after that. That picked up a good chunk, and it was nearly a big play. All plays on the table here for third and three. Now Stafford again. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. I call this quarterback's best friend. Some call it a safety valve. Some call it automatic. But it's sure nice as a quarterback when you got a trusty running back over the middle of the field that you can depend on. A new set of downs awaits him. Here's first and ten. Stafford from the gun. Rifles it, and it's caught. And that play is brought to a halt, they're going to say, at the five-yard line. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket, you can get even more aggressive and take that shot. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. I can promise you, that's not what it looked like on the practice field, nor on the whiteboard. Typically, QB run is going to net you a whole lot more yardage than that. But let's give some credit. Strong effort by that defensive front who contained a play that typically goes for a whole lot more. Looking to throw on third and one. He's got it to him yet again. That is cut. A gain of three, and now they're going to be able to plan for first and goal. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well-drawn-up completion that nets them a first down. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Now after the run, we see he's visibly shaken up. Team medical staffers headed over to take a look. It's second and goal. First throw for the backup now. And the defender comes away with it. Tavarius Ward picks it off. Mm -mm -mm. There are costly interceptions, Brock. And then there are interceptions inside the red zone in the second half of a one-score game. And if there is ever a time where ball security is paramount, it is right now. Yeah. They made a great play. Don't get me wrong. They deserve a ton of credit right there. Mm -hmm. But as a quarterback, you cannot risk a turnover. It's touchdown, it's check down, it's throw the ball away. You're literally throwing points away with that pick. They're out and set, first and ten. Lone back in the backfield, and they give it to him. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stopped. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. Okay, this is why coaches across all levels of football harp on the importance of good, fundamental tackling, not just to hear themselves talk. Uh-uh, it's to make sure that when one of their guys has a chance to bring down a running back, they're able to do it and keep those plays from going any further. First down, and they go right back to him. And he powers through the middle for a gain of four. He'll expect more from himself on those type of plays, but there is nobody that's going to complain about that one. If you can do math, four plus four plus four equals a first down. Second and six coming up here.
And they'll let the clock run all the way down and expire. Must have lost sight of the play clock there, Brock, because the quarterback could have snapped it in time, but instead, they take the penalty. All right, here we go, second down. Shotgun snap for Purdy. Nabs along that sideline, Samuel. And he's going to get this up close to the 40 before going out. There's no negatives ever on a grade sheet for a completion, but that's one of those situations. If you're going to take a risk and throw an out route, you'd sure like to see a little bit more yardage gained. They come to the line here, and this is third and six. He'll throw it. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. Couldn't find Debo Samuel on that throw. And that makes it fourth down. Well, that was almost one of those nice chunk plays you like to see in the NFL, Kate, before he was able to recover and provide the hit and ultimately dislodge the football. You like to see that physical edge and scrappiness to contest any kind of shot plays down the field. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. That punt goes 63 yards. And it'll be their football. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Interception last drive doesn't deter them. They're going right back to the air. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. It's a gain of 12 there. And the Rams are going to have a first down. Boy, they sure found the right route at the right time to hit the soft spot in that coverage. And that slant, it goes for big yardage. Garoppolo. That won't be caught outright. It's incomplete. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. They're going play action. Complete, it's Atwell. And it's good yardage, but they tackle him short of the sticks. You know what I love to say, you never go broke taking a profit. And you often gain profits when you use your eyes as a quarterback. Those hitch routes, those underneath throws, oftentimes it's the eyes of the quarterback looking downfield and then taking that short completion. Looking to throw it. Complete beyond the marker. And he'll get it up to the 44. It's a gain of four. And it brings up an L.A. first down. You know, Kate, they say a dog is a man's best friend. Well, a tight end that moves the chains on third down, that's a QB's best friend. Working fast as the clock ticks towards zero. Tight. They get to him. And he loses the football. It's out. And this is picked up by the 49ers. And they limit the damage on the return, but it is still a turnover. You know, this just can't happen on first down. It really can't. I mean, ball security is at a premium on every down, every distance. But on first down, it is especially a killer. The San Francisco offense headed out to take over. That defensive stand might have been the final effort needed to seal away the victory, Brock, but can't quite take off the pads just yet. Offense has to finish this one out. Yeah, a few things here, Kate, to keep in mind, right? You got to slow the game down as a quarterback. Take every second off the clock. If you're handling the ball, you guard it with your life, and you make sure your defense doesn't come on the field again. They just did their job. Now you got to do yours. First down, they'll run. He cuts it back right. 
And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. One play in, and this drive is already in enemy territory. Here's the first carry for Christian McCaffrey. And he scampers ahead and gets two on the carry. Timeout taken by Los Angeles. It's second. And they'll have just one left to burn now. Eight yards to go. Let's see how they approach this second down. Motion in one of the tight ends. The give here on second. Works his way to the 35. And he's all the way down to the 32-yard line. Victory formation here. Looks like they're going to take a knee on first down. And they'll take a knee. There's still some time to bleed off the clock, but the important factor is that the defense is helpless to stop it. You could just run that clock down as far as you're able and take off every single second. A kneel down here, and they can start to celebrate this win. And he's going to take a knee. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot. And now you can enjoy the victory. So the 49ers earn the win in this one. And partner, I know you took down plenty of division rivals in your NFL days. Heck, your conference opponents back in Washington in your college days always makes the win a little bit sweeter when it comes against a rival, doesn't it? Yeah, there's just a little bit more emotion. There just is. Yeah. I mean, you try to keep every game level, and no opponent's bigger than the other, but familiarity does breed a little more contempt, <laughs> and we could feel it today, and that's why that W is a little bit sweeter. So for my partner Brock Heward and our entire crew, I'm Kate Scott saying this has been the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the 49ers as we say goodbye from Los Angeles.